Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nidhi from Biotechnica. I welcome you to this video where we are going to discuss about an interesting phenomenon, abortive initiation, that happens during the initiation of transcription in the cell. Now the good part is that this topic is common from syllabi of many exams, including CSIR and GATE. So let's get started with our video. But before we learn the details of this mechanism, we must be able to recall about the initiation steps. Yes, the steps which occur during the initiation of transcription in a prokaryotic cell. So to begin with, transcription initiation events, here we can divide, we can keep the initiation events into three stages. First, the formation of closed binary complex. Second, formation of open complex and third formation of initiation ternary complex. So let us see that what do we mean by closed binary complex. Now as we know that when transcription has to begin RNA polymerase will be binding at the promoter sequence on the DNA right. So the formation of the complex between RNA polymerase and the promoter which is in the form of a double stranded DNA. RNA polymerase has bound to the promoter on the DNA, but DNA is still a double standard structure, right? So this complex is known as closed complex. The DNA hasn't opened up yet. Now, when RNA polymerase will bind, it will start separating the two strands of the DNA. So there, the formation of open complex that will happen. So open complex is the name given to the complex between the RNA polymerase and the partially melted DNA. Yes, the promoter DNA, it will get melted. That means the two strands of the DNA in the promoter region, they will separate. So that what we can see here, formation of, uh, this is formed by unwinding of a short region of DNA within the sequence that is bound to the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase, when it binds, Initially, it unwinds approximately 14 base pairs of DNA on the promoter. It leads to the establishment of tight binding between RNA polymerase and promoter sequence. So remember, in closed complex, there was the holoenzyme, RNA polymerase holoenzyme binding to the wound DNA. Right? DNA was still in the closed form. Now, during the open complex formation, when closed complex has been transformed into the open complex, their RNA polymerase is binding to the unwound DNA. The right? DNA has started unwinding. So, the exposed single strand of DNA that will be offered for transcription. So, we'll say that transcription bubble that is forming up and it will be formed in the vicinity of the initiation site. So as we know that uh, where the transcription begins, that site is represented by plus one. Now have a look over this diagram. Here, as we could see, when RNA polymerase, it is binding, right? This is RNA polymerase holoenzyme when it is binding to the promoter DNA. This is promoter DNA. And when we talk about the prokaryotic promoter region. So we know that there remains the primnor box at minus 10 sequence and then another promoter sequence which exists at the minus 35 location. Now here we could see that RNA polymerase holoenzyme it is binding to the promoter sequence but the DNA it is still in the closed form. Okay so this is known as closed complex. Now uh, this closed complex further it will get converted to open complex where the promoter DNA that is getting melted. Two strands of the DNA they are getting separated. So here the complex is between RNA polymerase and separated DNA right. So the single strand DNA it is coming out so that it can be used as a template for transcription. Next we have the ternary complex stage which we can say that this is the third stage during the transcription initiation, right? Now, what do we have under this stage? Here, the incorporation of two RNTPs and the formation of a phosphodiester bond that will be formed, right? Now, RNTPs, they are getting added 
because uh, this is transcription rna is being extended so rntp is there be added and the formation of the phosphodiester bond that will be seen so basically at this stage now what we are finding rna polymerase rna which is under synthesis that is your transcript as well as the dna which is acting as a transcript here up to seven additional rntps they can be added to the rna chain without any movement of the polymerase yes now this this is very interesting to be known rna polymerase it has been found that rna polymerase it will remain static but still the transcription is happening right so around seven uh, rntps they can be added without any movement of the polymerase okay after the addition of each base there is a certain possibility that the enzyme will release the short up to nine bases long rna chain which is basically refers referred as aborative initiation now what happens during this stage is that like i said that rna polymerase will be uh, will be stated right now how it is possible that if rna polymerase will not be moving further how the transcription that will happen so here the difficulty comes right rna polymerase it is not moving it is not escaping the promoter okay so there in the transcripts which are being formed the rna the short rna segments which are being formed they will get released okay and rna polymerase it is not continuing with the actual transcription event so that what is known as aborative initiation the short transcripts which are being formed they will get released now uh, to understand it further let us move to the next part of the discussion and here let us see that what uh, is aborative initiation okay now i hope you understood that uh, what is the difficulty rna polymerase is facing right while it has to escape the promoter so here after the first bond is synthesized like we have uh, discussed that rna polymerase it must escape the promoter right this is important rna polymerase must move further right to continue with the transcription but at this stage it has a tendency to release the rna transcripts and produce truncated transcripts yes this term is important truncated truncated means incomplete right the rna stretches which it is forming up they are not part of the actual transcription even right they will be very short rna transcripts so they are known as truncated truncated that means incomplete transcripts so they will get released so at this point the rna polymerase it is actually in the aborative cycle right those rna transcripts those truncated rna transcripts they will be synthesized and they will get released now uh, you must know that this thing this phenomenon is common for both for eukaryotes as well as for prokaryotes now next question is that how long it will continue how long these truncated transcripts will be uh, they'll be forming up right when this aborted cycle will actually get converted to productive cycle so it will continue to occur until an rna product of threshold length of approximately 10 nucleotide is synthesized yes so approximate number is 10 to 12 right when this much number of nucleotide ribonucleotide that is achieved then randomly the rna polymerase it will be escaping the promoter and it will continue with the regular transcription event so at that point we will say that a bottle cycle that has been converted to productive cycle okay and this phenomenon right which is uh, definitely under abortive initiation and, and where this rna polymerase is trying to escape the promoter so that is known as the promoter escape so basically here uh, we need to know few important terms first abortive cycle why it is being known as abortive because the rna rna stretches which are being formed up they are truncated so they will be aborted they will be released they will not be part of the actual transcription event the second term which you need to know is the promoter escape right so rna polymerase will be able to escape the promoter right that is important because until and unless it escape the promoter it will not be able to 
continue with the transcription and to form up the actual transcript, actual RNA transcript. So that is known as the promoter escape, right? Now, how much time it will take to escape the promoter? That is known as promoter clearance time, okay? So promoter clearance time, that is another term which you must know in uh, relation to this concept only. So abortive initiation, abortive cycle, then truncated transcripts, then promoter escape, promoter clearance time, and finally product, productive cycle. So when the truncated transcripts which are being form, uh, forming up during the abortive cycle, they'll be able to acquire the threshold length, which like I had mentioned earlier, that it should be 10 to 12 nucleotide. So when that, that much threshold length of the RNA transcripts that will be achieved, so the abortive cycle will get converted to productive cycle. So here we can refer this diagram. So let us have a look at this diagram. Here we could see what, what had been shown here in this diagram. This is double standard DNA as you could see here. And this is the holoenzyme RNA complex, right? Now here, as we could see, the transcription bubble has been formed up like we had discussed uh, while we were recalling the transcription initiation events that a ternary complex will form up where you will find the DNA, the RNA. So this small uh, red thread-like structure which you are finding in the diagram, this is what? This is RNA. So we have RNA polymerase, we have DNA, we have RNA. So this is known as ternary complex, right? ternary complex and this is where we could see that RNA they are being formed up but they are getting released right so these are truncated transcripts they are getting released okay so they'll be degraded later right this will continue to happen until the RNA transcripts which are being formed up they will acquire the threshold length okay of nearly 10 to 12 ribonucleotides when that will happen, the RNA polymerase will be escaping the promoter and the abortive cycle will get converted to productive cycle. So I hope you got an idea that what do we understand from abortive initiation. This is uh, like one of the important topics uh, which is very often asked in CSIR or GATE and like I had uh, given you other terms as well which are related to this concept. So I hope you liked the video. If you would like to get more information, so just post your comments uh, under the video. Thank you all.